What is happening, people? Hey, guys, we're doing something a little different today. Uh, Nathan runs Seamsters Grass Fed Farms. Farms. And uh, these are meat chickens here. He's had them how long? Uh, nine weeks. Just About a nine, nine weeks. And he's killing chickens today. Hey, I'm going to bring you along and show you how this is done. If you got a weak stomach, you may want to not look at this. But anyway, hey, guys, stay with us, and let's go kill some chickens. So this is not one of the normal videos I do, but it is an informational video, and I just figured you guys may be interested to see how to kill your own chickens, so grow these meat chickens, kill your own chickens, quarter them up, and this is something my brother does every year. He grows his own chickens. He sells part of them, and part of them he keeps to eat for his family. I know all of us have heard stories uh, about going to the grandmother's house when they were young and seeing her go out and get a chicken by the head and twist the head off or chop it off and the chicken runs around the yard. I've heard those stories. Never witnessed that, but I've heard those stories. If you've witnessed that or you've actually seen it with your own eyes, comment below. Uh, I'd like to see those comments. Now in this video, for those of you who think this is very inhumane uh, to kill and eat your own meat, uh, this is done very humanely uh, the way he does it here by just severing the artery and puncturing the uh, brain cavity. The chicken dies really, really quickly. And uh, so there's not any, so they minimize the pain that that chicken actually feels. All right, All right so we got the hugging jug. This is a hugging jug. Right, so instead of using a what they call a killing cone, this is a lot cheaper. I took a bleach bottle, cut the bottom out of it, and the bottom is thicker. So I added that to the back of the jug so when he does move a little bit or the chicken moves a little bit, it will help support the jug and help it keep from ripping away from the wood and out of the screw. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put the chicken down in here and his head's going to come out the bottom. Right. Right here. And then that's when I'll cut the artery on the side of the head and then pith the chicken, which I will mm -hmm. show you later. Okay. And then he'll be dead. Okay. Cool. Bring them over here for a sec. All right. And so. Did you just break his neck? No, oh. that was a butt jug. So his ears right here. So you'll go get right past that and cut the order. And then you'll come up in here. And then, bleed him right out. Yeah. Now he's gonna have some kicking, but he's dead. That's very, quick. Very quick. Very quick, very humane. Right. And I'll just stand here and hold for a second and I'll go back and get another. And see that 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 hugs him. So it's not mm -hmm. a lot of kicking and flopping and I mean, he's gonna do a little bit, but that's just the nerves and the muscle. Mm -hmm. So, one of the methods that uh, that Nathan uses uh, this this hut here, uh, and I'm not familiar with a lot of terms, uh, raising chickens and whatnot, but uh, this is like a chicken hut, and you see there's wheels right here, and because it's got wheels on it, it enables. Got wheels on this chicken coop, and here's his rope right here. And this enables him to move these chickens along every day. So in the afternoons, he'll come out, hook to this chicken pen, and move it up. You know, it's roughly 10 or 12 feet long. 
and he'll move it up 10 feet every day. Allows the chickens to have access to fresh grass or, you know, fresh clover. And uh, just makes for a healthier chicken. And that way they don't stay in the same place and have to walk in their poop the whole time, uh, if you know what I mean. I create a shadow. Yeah. So what we're we doing? We're going with the chicken into the boiler. How hot is the water? It's, right, it's 160. It's right at 160. I prefer it at 150. But all right, we're going to hot water. And how long does he stay in the hot water? I'm gonna do it about 10, 12 seconds. Let me move out of the way right there. 10 to 12 seconds. Yeah, and then I'm gonna check the feathers on his wings. You'll pull them up. You'll come up. It's a little hard to pull off, so you go back in there. So you want him to be. Where the feathers on his Just wings come off, off real easy. Right. Gotcha. And you want to submerge him all the way down to his feet. Mm-hmm. Get all his feathers. Oh, yeah. Up. See how easy? I mean, they come out pretty easy. Oh, I'm going to dunk them on. Zach, will you reach all the way down? All right. All right. Just take him and get to grab my water. And then you have a naked chicken, oh, except, except for... Man, that took the fellas off quick. Yeah. Good day. That's the reason we got it. Water's a little hot because the skin ripped. Did it rip? Where? Over on. And what are you doing over here, V? <laughs> I cut the chicken's feet off. And you cutting it right in the joint. Are you keeping the neck or are you taking it off? Um, I don't cut it off because I'm going to put them down. Okay. A lot of people keep them on. I wouldn't if I was bringing them cold. Square around the back end here. Mm -hmm. And I'll loosen it up. How long does it take to pluck it with that? I have no idea. I ain't, I ain't never done it. And just you reach your fingers reach up in, in there. there and you pull everything away from the rib cage mm -hmm. and the diaphragm. And then it should all come out. All right. I can't tell. I'm gonna have to put this chicken up first. You got a bucket or something you gonna put that in? It's just gonna leave it there for me. Cold enough out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's nice and cool today. It's another reason y'all doing it today because it's so cool, right? Oh, yeah, it's nice and cold. Yeah. We do have a cooler here with ice. Still stuck in there, and I don't want to bust the bowel. That's the only thing you need to be careful of is not to bust the bowel. It's right there, oh, the connected bowel. to the livers. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll it's check. It's right it. there. Okay, we'll. we'll and it's we'll, green. You'll, you'll know. You'll show that to me when we get it out. Mm -hmm. So that right That's there. That's the gallbladder, I guess. Yeah, that is what you do not bile. want to bust. You don't. What happens if you bust it's that? It's green and it's it'll it, contaminate your bird. So you got a base. Do you have to throw the whole bird away? You can't just wash it off? Right, because <sighs> there goes the stuff in the neck. Pulled it out. That's why we loosened it. And I'm just going to cut this booty off. It's, it. it's everything. It's your livers, it's your heart, your whatever all this stuff is. All inside. This one had a few fellas. I think the wall, either I didn't hold it quite long enough. Can you give me a bucket for the things? I mean, it depends on how you're going to sell it. We're not going to sell it. We're just going to put it up. Oh. You more satisfied with them as go around? Oh yeah, they're much bigger. Which I'm also picking the bigger ones too. Look at that guy. Yeah. Look at that cute. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do it this way. There you go. Yeah, there's a joint there somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. there. Oh, yeah, you got it. 
Oh, yeah. Chicken quarter's quarter is about 160 right now. Yeah. I prefer 150-ish, but it's fine. You just have to pull it out a little quicker. Those See how them feathers coming off good? One more dunk. Boom, and I'm gonna hold this. It might get messy here. Yeah, it's other than tail feathers, they're the hardest. Couple on the wing. But. So I so the feathers are kind of stick to those the feathers kind of stick, fingers. stick to fingers. those rubber fingers somewhat. And it just pulls the feathers right off of them. Yeah. Makes where rifles a whole lot better. A whole lot easier than But I done it, we done it once before, and I, what I do is feed them twice a day. Put some ice in between it to cool it down. Maybe. I think I should just do that. I mean, I see it smoking. I was just, I didn't want it to spoil it laying on top of it. Because it has no way to dissipate the... Uh... <laughs> anyway, I hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed. I hope you've seen something in the video if you learned. You've never seen this done before. Uh, I've never witnessed uh, that chicken plucker before myself and uh that was amazing to me how quickly that takes the feathers off anyway hey don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh hit that like button click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of wildlife adventures and as always you remember it's a wildlife and i'll see you on the water